Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Parth Rati and in this video, we'll talk how to memorize every damn thing that you read in just two steps. These are the techniques which I had followed in my preparation and it helped me tremendously to crack both NEET PG and AIMS and to get top 500 rank in both of these exams. These things, I will tell you in depth how exactly I used to follow and how you can follow exactly the way I did so that even you can get the dream ranks that you are craving for. So we both know if we were to have a theoretical discussion on this topic, we can talk endlessly for hours and hours and talk about 100 different tips and hacks, how it might increase your memory game in one way or the other. This video is not about that. This video is extremely specific for people who want to upscale the game in a workable, doable guide. Whatever that we listen today in this video, by end of this video, if you start to implement, you can see the difference in a week or two, okay? This is in the alignment of the principle of Pareto principle, which says 80% of your output comes from 20% of your input. So if you were to follow in this 20% of input, these two techniques, and if by end of this video, if you are able to unlock 80% of your near perfect memory, I think it's a sweet deal for both of us, right? So let's just get into this. Technique number one, active recall. Now what exactly it means? It's a process in which you stimulate your brain to try to recollect the information that you have read before. Now, what are the workable, doable guides to implement this in your preparation in your daily schedule? Number one, cover the notes and try to answer the key points in your head or out loud. Number two, use of flashcards or Anki decks in your preparation. Number three, after you finish a particular subject, take five minutes off, close your book and try to remember all the important things that you have read before in your head and just jot or maybe jot down the important points that you have read. Number four, what happens in especially in a competitive environment or in a competitive examinations, you have to read the same notes again and again. After a couple of reads, it becomes quite saturated or boring to read the same things again. A quick fix to that is to solve the relatable topic modules before. So if you solve a question bank on the same topic that you're going to read, which you feel are bored or saturated, read the questions before. So once you solve the question and you're not able to answer a few questions, your brain gets activated that you have to find solutions for them. So when you go back to that topic, you're actually finding those lines, those words, and it creates a caveat that if I knew this topic, I know well, and yet I didn't perform, there might be other aspects as well, which I wouldn't have solved MCQs, but I might not have retained it that better. So I will have to be wide open and keep my attention throughout the span when I'm reading the topic and it will help you to bring your attention back and to able to give a very high yield read of that topic again. Number five, being extremely self-aware. Okay. When you are doing a study, you know, there are some patterns, there are some topics, there are some particular patterns of questions that you are weak at. Okay. You need to understand and address them in a way to resolve and make a way out of it. So suppose you are doing a very factual topic, which has a lot of numbers, a lot of tables and you are weak at it. Try to make, when you are reading this topic, talk to yourself that I know this is my weak area and I will have to make a way out of it. Now, what are the common ways out of it? One, making a mnemonic out of it so that you can have some pattern in your order in one way or the other. Second, making a mental connection with some other topic that you are very familiar with. So you have a mental note and a mental connection with the topic that you are so firm at. So it will help you to recollect this and do a habit chunking kind of thing per se, your thought chunking per se, all the information that you are reading. Okay. So you will have to make logical, illogical, whatever funny, as vivid, as different it is, it will be going to stay in your head for the longest span of time. Okay. So understanding your pattern of weakness and taking an action of it is going to seal the entire thing up. Second technique, modify space repetition. Now, what exactly is space repetition? Just to brief it up, that whatever that you have read today, will today will be considered day zero. You will have to revise the same topic on day one, day seven, day 21 or 30 to make sure that you have a longer retainability of the information that you have read. Now, why is it so difficult to actually practice this typical space repetition in your preparation journey? It requires hell lot of mental effort, time allotment, management, and lot of discipline to actually do all of these things. Even I tried my level best to actually follow it in my preparation, but I couldn't do that. So I modified it to a certain level to get almost 80% out of output of it by modifying it in a way that I can actually follow in my preparation. Let us talk about this with some examples. Please listen to it carefully to avoid getting confused. Okay. Suppose I have done subject number one and two in a month's period of time, and I've picked a new subject, subject number three in the next month. 
Now, when I'm doing that subject and I'm going through topic wise topic, uh, I come across a topic which is relatable to the previous subjects that I've completed a month before. What I will do is sit down then and there and try to recollect whatever that I have read, which is relatable or which reminded me of the first second subject. Okay. And if I can remember all of it, well and good, I continue with the reading of third year of third subject. But if I come across some hesitancy or if I can't recall everything about it, I will go back to the first second subject and actually read it in just five, 10 minutes, whatever to brush it up and come back to the subject and continue reading with it. Now the conclusion of it, please understand when we were reading the third subject, we actively try to recall whatever that we had studied a month prior. Okay. And we if actively, if we could remember everything of it, we wouldn't have to machine mechanically actively do that one seven day, 21 day, 13 day, exactly period space repetition. Because if a month later also, if you could remember, we are doing pretty much of it and it boosts our confidence also. But if you're not able to remember, we can actually go back and read it and come back and that will act as a space repetition. And now you'll be able to retain it for a longer period of time. So this is actually maybe in a way of integrating subject, but not exactly integration. I would say, because if it reminds you of something beyond integration, also, it just reminded you of a few facts that you were reading a month prior. Do not hesitate to go back and come back. This is the only way you can actually complete the reading when your first reading, you can complete a first revision of the subject as well. And you'll be able to retain also so that when you start the actual first revision, it is not like actually you're reading a new book. It is something that you have already read in between in few breaks, few weeks of break. And you can still remember almost 80% of it. And trust me in the longer run, it will boost your confidence. And the way you will remember the way you will have confidence of all the subjects all together is going to be tremendous. That marks the end of the two techniques that I had used for my preparation. Now I would request just one thing. Okay. Before you jump into any other tips, hacks and other videos, because there are going to be endless of it. Just try these two things in your preparation and let it show some results to you. Okay. Because trust me, it's never ending to look upon these common generic topics. You will find a lot of information around. Just try to implement whatever that you have read. If you have come so far, just try to put it into action. If it doesn't work, then maybe you can go ahead and try other things. But for sure, I can tell you it's going to help you if not hundred percent, at least 80% in your preparation and uh, the amount of output that you're getting with just input of these two relatable topics of space repetition and active recall merge along with it. The amount of output that you will get is going to be 80% from this 20% of the inputs. Hopefully I have given justice for your time to watch till the end. If you like this, please share it with your friends and until then I'll see you in the next video. So stay calm and keep enjoying.